what you're about to see is nothing that you should ever try doing yourself. I repeat, do not try any of the harebrained things I do. Don't ever do it! Deep in the heart of the Louisiana Bayou lives a man who's become a legend. Here we go! And his name is Shelby the Swamp Man. After a tough few years where he done near lost everything, even his beloved pirate ship. Get out of the way! He came back to help his neighbors and help himself along the way. Oh, here we go! Now he's looking to get back on top for good. This is my daddy's gun. And he's bringing his protege, Angela, and a whole new generation along with him. He no doubt the Swamp Man's on a mission. If that rope breaks, the s flipping. And he'll do whatever it takes Woo! to try and pull it off. Dawn breaks on the Louisiana Bayou. And the critters ain't the only thing stirring. Here we go, Papa! Shelby Stanga's getting an early start on the day. Got a lot of hard work in front of me. I gotta make sure I'm in the best shape I can be. While doing good deeds. Get out the way! He's acquired a few bumps and bruises along the way. Oh. Huh? Here we go! <laughs> so this morning, he's looking to the swamp's backyard to find what he needs to fix himself up good. You hear now, do you? Mama and Papa told me there's medicine for everything in the swamp. Look my damn pine tree, man. Get some zap off of it. That's good for them cuts. Got a bunch of cuts, hurt like hell, but that damn pine all does the trick. Make the soreness go out. Now, Shelby's always had medical issues, just like you and me. Damn mosquitoes in here bad, and them women police give me some deep mosquito spray, and I was in them drawers, and I sprayed it on my begonias, and, it, and the meat fell off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't ever put no lead on your begonias. Hey, <laughs> that ain't a good thing. And the Swamp Man's got a way of finding cures for what ails him. All right, I got it on there, buddy. Tie it on the back of this summons right here. All right. Go ahead. All right. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Use that damn pine tar. And today, Shelby's taking a page out of the Stanga family medical book. Story's starting to come out, see it, Juice? Using a remedy that's been passed down through the generations. That makes that someone get healed fast. That sap. My mama showed me how to do this when I was a little bitty. She used to put it on me. And rub it on all them cuts. Yeah, this gonna heal them cuts up real good, man. Yeah, so hurts, he wiped me, wiped me the ball too, man. That's all kind. Ho, oh, but it's some good shit, yeah, boy. Now, good as new, brand new swamp man. Go back to work now, man. Be feel better in no time. Here we go, Papa. The swamp man's back to tip top shape. And he's gonna need to be, because he's got a heap of work ahead of him. Last week, we, uh, we're from Southern Wood. Uh, we got a shop down the road, not too far from here. Shelby scored a golden opportunity to help himself and the next generation. We've got a huge order we're trying to get filled. Oh, we need that bad. Oh. Oh, good. Landing a big order with a couple of newcomers in the wood business. Woo, it's raining long. Woo! That's the nice that my ball. Oh, my gosh. Now, the Swamp Man's already banked some monster logs. <laughs> Where's my guns at? But with only a few days left before the order's due, he's still a little cypress shy. Come on, Angie! But Shelby's got a honey hole in mind where folks with an ounce of sense wouldn't dare to tread. Hey, you ever shot any guns before? Uh-uh. Why not? I was never taught. 
To get that wood I need, we gotta go to the gator nesting spot. I call it Alligator Alley. It's a dangerous place, Junior. Now the Swamp Man knows a thing or two about gators, and he's tangled with them on more than a few occasions. Watch it, Jeff! Gators know when the damn food's around, they can smell it. I just want him to know the, the food is the fish, not me. Ow! And put one in. So he's gonna teach his young protege, Angela, how to provide some added protection for when they go down river. Don't never point a gun at nobody. And okay. don't never walk around with the safety off. I barely know anything about guns. And Shelby was basically born with one in his hand. Boy, that's a good one, Popo. Uh, you ready to shoot some targets, man? Yeah! Shelby's like a gun master, so it's kind of intimidating. I just hope I can measure up to his standards. Well, right, we're gonna try this one right here. Look at him. 44 mag. This is my daddy's gun. Get up on that log till you hit the height. Let's see how she does. Is she Annie Oakley or is she just Annie? I got to at first. Good thing we wasn't in the war. <laughs> We've been dead a long time ago. <laughs> Whoa. Got it? Dang, that's got a kick on it. Shoot it. I was shooting from the hip, baby. Cause there ain't no sights on that gun. Oh my God. Angela with a pistol is proven to be about as useful as a steering wheel on a mule. Too close. Did you get it? No, I hit. See that big hole in front of me? Yeah. That's what I hit. This is humiliating and kind of embarrassing. You're definitely missing it. Not very good at it. That girl couldn't hit the side of a damn barn door with a cannon. Let me show you this other gun right here. This is the gun my grandpa and daddy gave me when I was a little bit child, children child, when I couldn't even walk. I was just crawling, still sucking on the cow city. But nobody thought following in the swamp man's footsteps would be easy. Uh -oh. That's a 12 gauge. So Shelby's bringing out a rifle that might be a tad easier to steady. Hey, shoot it one time. You ready? Yeah. Put the safety in. And hold it tight to your shoulder. Put it on your shoulder now. Go ahead. <laughs> You're getting better. Oh. That Tony Moan that, Junior. Now, this one here, this is a Rossi 44 Magnum. Okay. Always on safety. Okay. There you go. See if it, you learned what I didn't get, you, did you? Good, Junior. I'm gonna let you shoot at me. All right, look, and let them have it. Woo! Now, this young logger may not be the next Dirty Harry. Oh, but thanks to the Swamp Man, she's got one more skill under her belt, and she's ready for Alligator Alley. We gotta get the water swimming with the gators. Here we go! Oh! Give me the bullet. That's how it's done. In the Louisiana Bayou. Who gonna go and I'm gonna show you how to find them logs, Angela? That's under that mud. Shelby's closing in on an order that could put him on Easy Street and bring a young company to the big time. I know they're counting on me. I could use that paycheck too. I'm gonna have to shoot the alligators off your ass, man, because where we're going is plenty of alligators. But for this next batch of logs, he and his protege will be heading straight into the gator's den. Here we go, there's watch it. Stay away, gator. <laughs> While Shelby and Angela head out for Alligator Alley, over at Southern Wood. Oh, one year anniversary's coming up, and we're talking about throwing a little party. How many people do you think? Variety. Maybe 30 or so. This'll be a lot of fun. While they're waiting on Shelby, 
The next generation of wood builders are coming up on their first year in business, and they want to do everything they can to stick around for a whole lot longer. We decided as a one year anniversary give back party to throw this big swamp feast with local food caught from the areas, your nutria, your alligator, redfish, alligator gar, crabs. First thing we thought was to get Shelby to get a lot of this stuff for us, but we've got him so busy pulling these logs. You know, this is very important we get what we need. You know, we're doing this for a lot of our local guys that help us out with stuff, so uh, we, we want all this stuff to be local food, you know, maybe even stuff we, we catch. Crabs, crawfish, nutria may be a little difficult, but if I start working on it now, we can we can make it happen. Well, let's get One going. One year on. anniversary. Well, that's going to be fun. Yeah, we good. I'm excited. Shelby Shonoff can't help with the hunting right now, but one of his most trusted assistants can. I'm pumped. My name is Lauren Luke, and I love to hunt and fish. I've known Shelby for a few years now. Shelby's very busy right now with his logging order, so I'm fulfilling the food order for Southern Woods anniversary party. Now there ain't no hunting or fishing this gal can't do. And she's learned a thing or two from the swamp man himself. And Shelby Shonuff is proud of her. Yeah, that girl's good, Junior. She don't look like it because you got your painted toenails, but uh, she don't care. She get out barefooted just like me. All right, we're going to try this other spot over here at the point. All right, I'm ready. With Shelby out logging, Lauren's taking the lead. And today, that means finding Nutria, a delicacy down in the bayou. When the airboat is on land, what we're trying to do there is flush them out of their holes so we can get a clear shot. These wily varmints ain't easy to catch, but for Miss Luke, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Right. Oh, yeah, now we're leaving out the gutter. Yes. Yes. I show up and I brought my 20 gauge um, Beretta A400 shotgun and I got the Nutria. There's trails everywhere through here. There's a trail right here. Whether by sea or by land, nothing's stopping this young hunter. And those Nutria best be on high alert. Did you see him? He's over there. He went that way. Did, do you see him? I see something. Get him! Go your way! Did I get him? Did I get him? Did I get him? Uh -oh. I got the second one. Now there's a saying in the swamp. When you get hot, you get cooking. It's a nice one. And right about now, you can already start smelling the grub on the grill. All right, y'all, let's go get some more. Southern Wood is going to be real happy with us. <laughs> While Lauren's looking to fill up the menu for the feast. Here we go. Shelby and Angela are out trying to fill the big log order. But the wood he needs is guarded by gators. Get my gun out of here. Angela got her lesson. She's on alligator watch now. Now Shelby done prepped his protege for Alligator Alley. But when you start seeing and hearing them 10 and 20 footers, it'll put you on edge lickety split. You look that side, and I look this side. Okay, sounds good. What was that? Alligator. Oh, it's a big son of a bitch, ain't it? This is not good. This is what we're going to start. We need specialty stuff for this order, man. But you don't find it laying on the shore. Oh, it's a big son of a bitch, ain't it? It's a stump. The swamp man's looking for specialty wood. Ornamental pieces for the bar tops. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. But in the swamp, ain't nothing come easy. 
So to get them, they'll have to get a little wet. We gotta get in the water swimming with the gators. Here we go! <laughs> now an old swamp trick is to use your feet to find the logs on the river bottom. Here's one. And Shelby's a master at it. Hey, come in, come in. Put your foot on it. Right here. Jump on it. See it, Bob? I see that. Jump on it. See it? Yeah. So it's got to at least be eight foot long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. What is it? See the bubbles moving? Yeah. An alligator? If they got a noise, damn alligator make it sound like this. <laughs> when I hear that damn sound, it's time to get out of the water. But damn sure. Get this up. Come here, let me tell you something. The alligator been laying up there on the bank? I've never seen an alligator trail. Let me see, that's all this. That's foot tracks, and it's uh, that's where the alligator's been laying. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's go and see if we can find this in that log and see if we can pick it up. Now, when you come a knocking on a gator's front door, you best hope he ain't home, because they don't take kindly to trespassers. Mm. That's the end of it? Yep. How long's the long chain? Pretty long. Let me get it. All I'm right. I'm pull you. Ah! There's no hook on this one. <laughs> Where you at? Shelby? Whoa! You scared the hell out of me! <laughs> that might be too much in the mud. Well, that's not good. I went down to get that log, and Angela thought an alligator got me. Spooked the hell out of her. Yeah, alligator alley does that to folks. Now, there's an old expression in the swamp. You hear that? Yeah. If at first you don't succeed, Pray them gators stay away a little longer. It's quiet out there, man. It's too quiet. One thing you don't want to hear in Alligator Alley is nothing. An alligator? That's a big alligator for sure. Ah! God! Mm -hmm. uh, a limb got on my toenail, man. Oh, Pulled man. it backwards. Ooh! Oh, mercy. I've been using my feet for years to find logs. That's that easy, man. Tear your damn toenails off. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that meat or worm? It's part of your dead skin from when your toe got. My God. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Found one. Did you? Found something. Pick it up and say. I don't know. I can't. That's it's too big. It's right here, right where I'm standing. Me. That's really neat. Yeah, that girl's good, Junior. Man, she was already finding logs with her feet. <laughs> pretty? Yes, it's pretty. Now, the alley may have gators, but once you work your way past them, it's also got plenty of prime logs for the picking. Oh, man. Nice. That's it, dude. Got a damn load now. Go right to land now. Woo. Man, we found a bunch of them down here. We got all the special wood we need. Well, oh, I'm close on this order, man. Let's go, Shelby. Shelby's getting closer to filling the order for Southern Wood. Here we go, watch it. Woo! But the young company's still looking to fill the menu for their big feast. <laughs> now, if you're looking for grub straight from the swamp. There's plenty of critters to choose from. Right in the lip. But one dish you gotta serve up is Shelby's favorite, alligator gar. This ain't no ordinary fish. He's got scales like bone on the outside of his damn hide, and he's got damn teeth like an alligator. I got an alligator mouth. They get up 17, 18 foot long. They good eating though. They're mean and ornery and tough to snag. 
And the Swamp Man's pal, Lauren, is just the gal to get him. Hey, Lauren. I'm excited. Let's do this. She tough. Don't let her fool your ass. She raised in these swamps. She's been down there since she was two years old. She good as gold. Now these alligator gar, they like to hunt their prey at night. So that's the best time to try and snatch them. I already saw a couple reds. Go right through the middle of this. But Lauren ain't using no rod and reel. She's going full-blown Robin Hood, using a bow and arrow to catch these swamp monsters. I'm pretty confident we're going to get lots of fish. When I'm standing on the front of the boat, I'm going to look in the water, and I'm going to look for mud clouds to see where the fish had just come from. All right, all right, we're gonna, and if you see a big, big, big one like that, you're probably only gonna get a quick shot on him. Garfish coming at you. You shot, you shot a little to the left of him. It may seem easy to just be able to pick which fish you want and draw back the bow and hit it, but it takes a lot more patience and skill than you think. So garfish, shoot him right there, big one. Hurry up, there you go, a little bit lower. Ooh. Sorry, reel it up. Damn, that was a nice gar. Now, these gar might be big, but they're fast. And trying to pin them with an arrow is like trying to grab a greased up hog with both hands tied behind your back. Here we go, right there, left, left, left. And it ain't coming easy. I don't have time to be missing fish like this. Son of a bitch. I've got a reputation to uphold, and so far, I am not delivering on that whatsoever. It's super important that I get every one of these fish because I really want to come through for the, the guys at Southern Wood. Now, so far, she ain't hit the alligator gar target yet. It's getting a little murky, huh? And if she don't turn it around soon, plates could be looking a might bit sparse for the cookout. Right there, right there, right there. get him, girl. Hitting bullseyes left and right. Oh, you nailed him! Oh, yes! And the boat's filling up with gar taller than a wart hog's ear. We are killing it tonight. Oh, yes! Look at that big red right there. Nice! Almost a nice. full red. Got a couple spots on it. Told you fishing was my favorite. This gal's coming through for the Southern Wood Boys. And she's proven she's going to be a force as a hunter for years to come. Our friends at Southern Wood are going to be very excited. I think this is going to be a great party. Yes! As dawn breaks on the bayou. At Shelby's Landing, the Swamp Man's finishing up the final pieces for Southern Wood. And with only two days until the order's due, it's just in the nick of time. What y'all doing? Hey, you working on our order? Yeah, cutting it up to little pieces. <laughs> What's going on with the order? We, we're gonna need a little more than we were thinking. But no good deed goes unpunished. And these boys just put the squeeze on the Swamp Man. That's gonna be a bad malfunction, that eh, Junior? If we could, we'd like to get some sinker that has that really good wash in it. Would you be on bars at it or something, huh? Yeah. Yep. Damn. It just got tougher, man. It's not the easiest damn thing to find, man. Is that something you think you can do? Yeah, that sounds good, man. We can do that. I'm gonna have to get on it, though, man. 
All right, well, let's let's get it going and we'll get, get you some Let me money. get started on it. All right. All right, man. Good seeing y'all, too, right, man. Good see you. Now, with this last cypress Shelby needs, it's a big and heavy log. What the hell I got myself into now? Here we go, Judy. Man, Lord have mercy. And with the clock a ticking, he's got a swing for the fences. Oh, buddy, some good shit here, boy. Sometimes when life throws you a curve, we can't get them logs, dude. You just dig in at the plate. Now I could juice up my jet boat, add some horsepower to that some bitch. So to try and pull it off, come on, Angie. The swamp man's upgrading the engine in his crown jewel. Put it on that hitch. His jet boat. I can't wait to get it in the boat and run it. Then it pull them logs and have more power, be like a wrecker. You come this way, man. With the added horsepower. Shelby will be ready to go toe to toe with any size log he finds. When I get it going, that's something to get it go gone, man. I mean, that's something to get it, man. Uh -oh. Here we go now, dude. This is that uh -oh. Damn jet boat's going. Here we go, dude. You gotta be tested. Let's test it. Let's, yeah. let's do this. Please, Lord Jesus, don't let us get hurt. Bitty you better hold on to. Shelby's jet boat was loaded with muscle before, but now <laughs> it's stronger than a whole acre field of garlic. That's a good job. Now, the jet boat might have all the pulling power in the world, but if Shelby ain't got a log to pull, well, that'd be like using sunscreen on Christmas. You get a big log with a big order. That was a big one. Look at that. Three of them. That's one, two, three. That's four. And ain't none of them diapers. Man. Look for logs, not sticks. <laughs> no difference. Oh, look at the log up in there. Now, Shelby's list of secret spots have almost always hit the jackpot. Right in front of me. Uh oh, look up in there. But right now. Let me see. No, man, ain't what we're looking for, that damn holly tree. You're looking for cypress, man. Save your cypress. Shelby's striking out more than Casey at the bat. Man, oh man, not looking good, Junior. Feel anything? Yeah. You feel something? Yeah, I feel something. I'm on a really good one. Well, see what kind of log it is. It might be sinker, man. If it's that big, if it's cypress, like, can you break that off? That's pine, fat pine. That's a good log, but that ain't what we're looking for. The clock's a ticking. And if he don't find a log fast, the swamp man and the new company could be in a heap of trouble. I'm in the world of now. Deep in the Louisiana swamp. This is a cool spot right here. On the hunt for one last giant log, Shelby's trying to get back on top and help the Southern Wood Boys at the same time. You got it? No. Can't find nothing. But right about now, he couldn't find a porcupine in a sandbox. Man, this order's real important to me. I need one more big log and I get my payday. If not, that company could go under. I got one more spot we can go look at. Come on. Okay. You get it late. A swamp man's run through just about every honey hole he knows, except for one. I'm gonna try a honey hole that I found big sinkers in the past. An old favorite nicknamed Kitty Corner. And he's hoping this cat's still got a ninth life left in her. I smell one right here. You smell it? What really? am I smelling? Uh, cypress. Cypress? Sinker cypress? Yeah, sinker cypress, man. Where is that son of a bitch at? I smell. 
Shelby says he can smell logs underwater. How do you smell logs underwater? Around these parts, folks always say Shelby's got a nose like no other. And maybe that's truer than they think. I've been doing it so long I can smell logs. As the odor them singers give off stink like hell, yeah, too. That leg's up in his hole where. People think I'm crazy, but it works, man. You walk right in there. There should be one right in there. Oh, great. I'm gonna see if Angela can find what I'm smelling down there. <laughs> oh, my. Is that a lie? Oh, yeah. Do you find one, really? Right here. Don't lie to me. No, I'm serious. How big around is it? Can you go down and stick your arm around it? <laughs> Woo! One new one! With an assist from the Swamp Man's snout, they must weigh three tons. Oh, my God! Shelby's protege might have done hit the jackpot. I knew this damn log down there was a big song gone, didn't you? There's so much it's huge. And the team is back in business. Oh, here we go. While Shelby and Angela get to work prying out the monster log, over at Southern Wood, the big feast is just getting underway. Bye, fellas. We gotta go check on that pig now. It's been about 13 hours. And the menu's looking like it was cooked up by the Swamp Man himself. It's a big night. The Swamp Feast is finally here. Laura really came through for us. Let's get those gar. We got the gar. We got the redfish. We got crabs, crawfish. What Nutra. Else we got? Nutra. This is the one that I shot, so let's see how this guy tastes. It tastes really good. Very nice. Frog legs. I mean, this is what this area holds, and uh, it's awesome. Everything, Everything we got morning. was gotten within 10, 15 miles of yep. right here. Look at that. She looks really good to me. While Shelby's out trying to take everyone to the next level, the boys are hoping this bash helps their reputation around the bayou. I shot that gar with a yeah. bow and arrow. That super stuff. Hey, everybody, I just want to thank everybody for coming out to our first annual Swamp Feast. I just want to let everybody here know we appreciate everything y'all have done for us over the last year. You know, big thanks to Shelby. You know, he's out there getting those logs for us. Shelby couldn't be here tonight. We really wish he could have been here. He would absolutely have loved this and, and eaten this up, because this is his kind of food. Oh, I found a good one. But, you know, he's out there pulling that big order for us. If he doesn't get this big order, you know, we might not have a, a, a party next that year. may be no year two for us. Our business depends on him right now. The Swamp Feast may be a hit, but downriver... Got it? It's a barely. Shelby and his protégés have the boy's monster cypress tied up. Get in. Mine. But they're struggling to get it off the muddy floor. It ain't gonna be easy to get this one out. It's way down in the mud. Now when it comes to breaking giant logs free, the Swamp Man's got plenty of tricks up his sleeve. Why, there's the Swamp Slingshot. Stay a little bit. There we go, Junior. Not far now, Junior. The Backwoods Yo-Yo. And, of course, the Bayou Boogie. Butt's got to go up there at the same time. See? Oh, yeah. Oh! Because oh. those bitches in the mud stuff, like Mother Duck. I weigh 200, which you weigh 49. <laughs> 175. Uh, <laughs> now we've got Biddy Coe, we've got four or five hundred pounds more on it. For this one, the winner is the Bayou Boogie. <laughs> And they're gonna boogie so hard, they're hoping it'll pop the tied up log free from the mud. Come on, Papa, let's go! <laughs> Come on, get in rhythm! The log's still not budging from the bottom. So Shelby will try another dance move. Hey, 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 here we go! One, two, three, go! 
the backwater bend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is our ride the mule. Hit that. It's a ride, you yeah. Tony Moe legend. The old soft shoe did the trick. Oh, back up here. And the beast is loosened up good. Boy, that's a good one, Popo. It's a nice log. This could be the one we was hoping for, man. Tighten it up. Let's see if I can't pull it out of that mud. Now he's got to haul the three-ton log out. It's a serious malfunction now. Oh, man. One big log away from filling the order. I don't know. I hope we can pull that thing or not, man. Shelby might have fallen short. What the <laughs> am I going to do? I only got one more winch. This one breaks, we're going to be hair lip coming home with nothing. The Swamp Man's toolbox is down to slim pickings, but he's got just enough left to tie the beast up. Go get it, go, go! On. And 600 horses under the hood, ready to try and bring her home. There we go! Gonna get it now! We got, we got a damn uh, payday today, man. The engine came through with flying colors. Something's come loose. Now get your ass off the back. Come up here in front. But now it's got to survive dragging the monster log all the way back home. This boat has got to stay level. Okay. If that rope breaks, this flips. Pulling a cypress this heavy is proven to be like trying to pull a 30-foot gator by the tail. Come on, baby. And Shelby's moving at a snail's gallop. It's getting dark on it. But with everything on the line for him and the boys, he'll go all night if he has to. Come on, man. Oh, man. I don't know if we're gonna make it home. <laughs> Oh. oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Finally, oh, the landing's in sight, and the sweet smell of success is starting to fill the swamp. Oh, we got it home without flipping the boat, Paw Paw. Oh, here we go. Now we just got to see how big this one is. It ain't no doubt this one's one for the books and everything the boys needed. Well, we did good on Apple, man. <laughs> That's a big one, Junior, big enough to fill on. The Swamp Man came through. <laughs> and as for Angela, well, with all the skills she done learned, she'll be ready for anything the swamp throws at her. Pulling that log was like my swamp graduation. This is a huge accomplishment for me. Now, filling this order will surely put the Swamp Man back on top. Boy, that's a good one, Popo. 
But he ain't the only one who's gonna reap the benefits. At Southern Wood. Man. This, is, this is what we're, what we're looking for. Right. This is why we go to Shelby. Thanks to the Swamp Man, the boy's future's looking bright as the Southern sun. Shelby's come through. Look at that. It's absolutely perfect. And now these boys are here to stay. This is gonna move us to the next level. No, oh, it's gonna it's gonna push us over the top. You're the only guy we thought could get it. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Are oh, you welcome? And that's why they call him the Swamp Man. <laughs> In the swamp, you don't want to just survive. You want to thrive. And now. Thanks to Shelby, not only are his pockets overflowing, there's a whole new generation that'll be thriving too. Not too bad, Bob Bob. Here we go! <laughs> oh, here we go! Shelby not only helped himself and a new generation. The giant anchor! This is the spot where Shelby found that anchor. Okay. He set off a treasure hunting frenzy. Let's go get it! And two young guns are looking to follow in the Swamp Man's footsteps. Woohoo! Hunting for one of the bayou's biggest treasures. Right there. Right there. The lost loot of a train robbing legend. What is it? Told you to find gold. 